Hi, everyone. Welcome to Vox Tablet. I'm your host, Sarah Avery. The Fugs have a new album out. It's their first in seven years. In case you're too young to know, the Fugs are an outrageous rock band that was founded in 1965 by two beat-era poets, Ed Sanders and Tuli Kupferberg. Ever since, off and on, the band has been singing unabashedly about sex, drugs, and war, with Kupferberg delivering deadpan lyrics in what the New York Times recently described as his, quote, rabbinical monotone. While bread and roses rot in the streets And lovers prepare their ecstatic excuses I shall walk to the battery Now, not tomorrow The waves of the present Smash from the sea During the tumultuous 1960s, Kupferberg seemingly left his Jewish roots far behind. But as reporter John Kalis recently discovered, those roots continue to make themselves evident in his songs and poems. For a guy who professes not to believe in God, Thule Kupferberg sure makes reference to the Almighty a lot in his work. Hi, folks. It's time for your daily proverb. Today we have a selection from the Bible, from the book of Exodus, 1517. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Oy vey. That was one of the 150 or so short videos Kupferberg has recorded for the Thule Fooly channel on YouTube. If you watch them in chronological order, you notice that at one point last year, he stopped wearing glasses. His vision had gone. Kupferberg has been ailing since 2005 when he almost died from a lung infection. In 2009, he suffered two strokes. He is now 86 blind and confined to his loft in Manhattan. You might have wondered about his ability to see well before the strokes, considering his habit of wearing plaid sports shirts that clashed with his plaid sports jacket. But that's just Thule being Thule. Hi, folks. It's time for your daily proverb. You know, books about sex, doctors, Lincoln, And cats always sell. That's right. How about I fucked Lincoln's doctor's cat? (laughs) That chuckle came from Kupferberg's longtime girlfriend, Thelma, who shoots the daily pervert videos in the loft Kupferberg shares with his longtime wife, Sylvia. Close friends and family members have known that the man has had both a wife and a girlfriend for decades. In one video that features him reading his poetry, Kupferberg points to a picture of a couple kissing, refers to them as lovebirds, and adds, there should always be at least two. Time for your daily proverb. An eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth. A kiss for a kiss, and a hug for a hug. Some of these YouTube videos feature lengthy political raps espousing an anarchist pacifist worldview. Some are excerpts from the public access cable TV show Kupferberg used to do. There's a poem about a yeshiva booker and a song that mentions the Baal Shem Tov. But mostly the daily perverbs are one-liners. Is there life after birth? Naftali Kuferberg was born into a Yiddish-speaking household in 1923, and he says Yiddish was his first language. Ed Sanders, the co-founder of the Fugs, told me that Kuferberg used to sing old Yiddish radio commercials he memorized as a kid. Kuferberg's songs and poems are peppered with Yiddish. One of the most famous songs in the Fugs' repertoire is Nothing, which is based on the melody of Bulbous, a Yiddish folk song that bemoans a daily diet of potatoes. 
nothing resonated with an alienated generation of young people in the 1960s. In some versions of Kupferberg's nihilistic masterpiece, the Fugs sing a verse in Yiddish. Oh, and by the way, if you purchase the song through iTunes, you get a message that says, are you sure you want to download and buy nothing? Monday, nothing. Tuesday, nothing. Wednesday and Thursday, nothing. Friday for a change, a little more, nothing. Saturday, once more, nothing. Roosevelt fake, nothing. Truman bloody, nothing. Eisenhower dope. Be nothing. Johnson, Nixon, humongous pricks, and Reagan, atomic death, nothing. Kupferberg has continued to go back to the well of Yiddish music for his satirical songs. One tune that harpoons apolitical artists uses the melody of the Yiddish theater standard, I am a border by my wife. I am an artist for art's sake. It was God who gave me my big break. I was born for a higher reason and all his angels I am pleasing. The vocal track for the version of I Am an Artist for Art's Sake on the new Fugs album was recorded at his home in Manhattan because Kupferberg was not well enough to join the rest of the Fugs in a recording studio near Woodstock in upstate New York. Oh, I do let the world pass me right by. The golden section runs right through my eye. Let other people freeze and fight. Someone's got to paint it right. I am an artist, for our sake. I am an artist, for our sake. It was God who gave me my big break. I was born for a higher reason, and all his angels I am pleasing. I'm an artist, for God's sake. One of his close friends told me Kupferberg was kicked out of Hebrew school before his bar mitzvah for disputing the biblical account of the Red Sea parting. According to the friend, Kupferberg refused to have his son circumcised and basically hasn't set foot in a shul as an adult. But Jewish culture does mean a lot to Kupferberg. Among the scores of videos on the Tuli Fuli channel on YouTube is one of Kupferberg telling a Sholem Alechem story about a man who didn't have a penny. His girlfriend Thelma says Tuli Kupferberg never missed a beggar. Kupferberg seems to be focused on just one Jewish ideal, and that is Rachmanus, or compassion. He abhors war and his disdain of violence is so pronounced that he won't use mouse traps in his home. His friend Larry Ratso Sloman says this live and let live attitude extends even to roaches. You go to visit Thule and you went to get some sugar out of the cabinet and there'd be like these little handwritten signs to the cockroaches. Please don't hang around the food, because Tuli is the supreme pacifist. He wouldn't even want a cockroach killed. He's just that kind of gentle, wonderful soul. Another friend, Steve Ben Israel, recalled running into Kuferberg in the days when Kuferberg could still go outside. It was, Israel says, like running into a hip rabbi. Guys like Tuli, they're always hipping you to stuff. And he always says, did you hear? You know, and it's always some kind of funny or heavy story what human beings are doing to each other in the world, you know. Thule has that great Jewish humor. It's not so much the self-deprecating kind. It's the humor with substance, with feeling, with heart, with yearning for a better world, you know. Backward Jewish soldiers strolling back from war Hug your Gentile brothers as you've done before. Presidents and premiers perish. Empires rise and fall. 
But hearts of all compassion still might save us all. After two months of my voicemail messages and uninvited visits to his loft building, Tully Kupferberg finally called me on the phone the other day. He declined my request for an interview, but thanked me for my interest in him and said that he's planning to continue recording his little pearls of wisdom for YouTube.